Today I'm here to talk about something that is very important, very close to my heart, a very great injustice of our world called Hot Shell Ray was so good and they may have only had three good songs but those three good songs were uh, the best pop songs of the decade 2010 and nobody's ever talked about it. So I am the voice of the people today. Hi, I'm Jules. I write songs a lot when I don't have crippling writer's block because I cure it with the 10 steps in my writer's block video. Check it out. Please subscribe to this channel right now. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. It's been a long time coming and I would love it to happen. <coughs> anyway, Hotel Ray is made up of three people. Um, I don't know any of their names. I think it's like Ryan Nashville or something. My love for Hotel Ray simmered and boiled like a beautiful pot of shrimp and sausage gumbo. That was not a good metaphor. It simmered and dripped and aromified over the course of several years, like a pot of coffee. As I grew older and wiser, I realized how absolutely Hot Shell Ray is and how absolutely underappreciated they are. So today, I'm here to share with you one of the greatest wonders of the audible world. The three good Hot Shell Ray songs. Number one. Honestly. So this song is absolutely brilliant, primarily because um, it freaking slaps. The melody of the chorus is one of the greatest melodies ever written. Um. I'm a goat cause I got no problem with saying goodbye. Is it wrong that I'm gonna be having the time of my life? Cause deep down I know I could cry, I could scream, I could get down on my knees, I could say that I need but I'm gonna party tonight Cause honestly I just don't care No, uh oh, no, uh oh Ba-na-ma-na-ma-na-ma That sequential staircase upwards melodic chromatic movement I don't know music theory Is it so catchy? So good? It's just like the ultimate beautiful oh, hilarious breakup anthem that is the kind of energy we all need in our lives. Like, it's not angry, it's not bitter, it's just like, uh, I like literally don't care, so. And that is just like the kind of energy we need. Especially that part where he says, I'll go out, get drunk again, make out with all your dumb friends, tag your face just to rub it in. <laughs> but the number one thing about this song that is so brilliant, and I only realized this like very recently, is the magnificent, highly intellectual bridge, which contains the lines, I'm undercover so you can drop that bomb. It's a little too late because I'm already gone. Because it's like, he's undercover, like he is not going to be affected by any kind of reaction she has because he doesn't care anymore. But also like, make out with all your dumb friends. Like, he's already like, moved on. Undercover. Undercovers. Anyway, brilliant. Love a song. So good. Problem with saying goodbye. Oh. <clears throat> Next we have Hung Up, which is arguably one of the best songs of all time. Such a fantastic pop song. The music video is so cool and so funny. And I'm like, yeah, everything you heard is true. Everybody simple chorus that gets the point across so effortlessly. I love it. And there's just like so many smart pop moves in this song. In the second verse, he says, and I'm like, whoa, girl, how'd you get me hooked like this? One look, one touch, one kiss, one chick. And the, when he says like, whoa, girl, it like draws your attention in. Like there's so many things that like are switched up. And the bridge of the song is the chorus, but minor. So it's like, then it goes major and it reaches back up to the sky with a hopeful anthem. Ah! I love Hot Shell Ray. Last 
honestly, I think that everyone has not given enough attention to Tonight Tonight as such a fantastic pop song, so hilarious, so interesting. Like, I woke up with a strange tattoo, it looks a little like you, mixed with Zach Galifianakis. That's amazing! And they literally created an anthem. Da 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 da. The most anthemic, poignant anthems of history. Dun 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 dun. They're all like three notes that are repeated in a specific way that seems so obvious, but is yet not fully tapped into until one brilliant soul decides to tap into it. Like the tea drop, as they call it, for Taylor Swift. Ah. Ah, she does that in like almost all of her songs. Da 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 da. It's brilliant. An anthem for the people. So I'm very upset that Hachel Ray was swindled out of their goodness. Also, Downtown Girl slaps. I love Hachel Ray so much, and their songs are timelessly fantastic pop music that show the best parts of 2012. I'm really upset that they didn't come back like Carly Rae Jepsen, I'm gonna make another video about her, and just like kill the game with an album that one-ups everything they've done before, but still stays true to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe, please become a patron, I teach people how to write songs, how to produce music on GarageBand and Logic. It's $5, which is less than a latte. And if you write songs but don't know how to play instruments, then hit me up. Email me, internetjewels at gmail.com. I'm producing people's demos right now. I'm also doing private classes where I teach you how to write songs and answer specific questions you have about those topics and look at your specific songs. So email me if you're interested in that. Please subscribe and go listen to some freaking Tosh Del Rey.